Welcome back, my handstand friend. 21 days of building rock solid handstand habits. And today I have a drill called pike slides. Uh, you'll notice I have a couple of yoga blocks here. So I'm going to use these. They'll come in very handy if you have them. If not, you can stack up a couple of books. Uh, or if you have two relatively uh, equal pieces of furniture like chairs, you can use those as well. The idea is that we're going to work on compression and pulling in, aka piking the hips. So how I you know, tend to use the blocks as I look at them and I say, well, what's the easiest way to do this? It's going to be the tall height. And then as I get better and stronger over time, I'm going to decrease the height of these and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. So I'm going to do these kind of at an angle here for you so you can see. So I'm going to set my blocks back directly underneath my shoulders so that I can get this. Looks awfully similar to this, right? It's that same push action. We're just doing it in a little bit different direction. So I'm going to extend out. And I got my feet. Top support, if you were uh, in a gymnastics, this is known as top support if you're on the rings. And I'm going to extend out as far as I can. And then I'm going to pull back a little bit. Okay, fairly easy. Now, if I pull back more, 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 hips behind, hips behind. Two. Belly works a lot on this one. Three. Four. And five. So you can see why I use the blocks because it gives me this much deficit to work with. If I wanted to make it a little more challenging, I would decrease the amount of space underneath me that I'm allowed to push, meaning I have to use a lot more muscle to get my hips high enough so that my legs can slide underneath. Let's do uh, another set here. Uh, on second set, when we're extending out, let's focus really big and getting the hips nice and high and then hips back as far as they can go. So we're exploring the maximum end of our range on each sides of this movement spectrum. Uh, first end of the spectrum is here, up, 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 okay. And then back, 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 up, up, up for two, three, four, five. Okay, so these are challenging for sure. As you get better with these and you get more compression in the hips, you'll be able to go down to the small height and then maybe all the way to the floor. If you're like, hey man, these are kind of hard. Um, I don't know if I'm ready for these ones yet. Here is another version. Let's use, I'll use the top height here, the big one. So I'm going to put my blocks directly underneath my shoulders like so. And then you can start with this. And if you like, Extend a leg, work the hip flexor, right? Leg down. Extend the other leg, work that hip flexor. We're trying to lift. And then over time, extend both at the same time, touch the ground, extend both at the same time. So everyone's going to kind of intercept this video at little bit different stages in their practice. For all versions of this drill, you cannot, cannot get away with this using this. Wah, wah, sunken shoulder. It has to be here. So big difference between this and this. And maybe this beginning just kind of push of the shoulder is your exercise. But I want you to think about pushing up and then compressing the hips to whatever degree you can. As always, check your inbox for your daily dose of handstand knowledge from your old pal Kyle. And we'll see you upside down, my friend.